Hello everybody and welcome to another Rental Tracks how to video. This time we are focusing on teaching you about your dashboard and what the dashboard looks like so that you can understand what you're looking at. It's a snapshot of your business when you first log into your system. So this is kind of your home page for your Rental Tracks system and this is what you're going to see. All of your users will see this. And now what they see inside their system will depend on the access level that you have given them. So an administrator will be able to see everything versus a user level access will only be able to see certain things inside the system. But for now we'll give you the entire layout as if you're an administrator so you understand what the system looks like. So this, what you're seeing now is the dashboard screen uh, and we're going to look at it in sections. So all the way along the top are your drop down menus that give you actions within the system from your customers, planning, project management, products reports, module settings. All of those are found through the drop down menus. When you're setting up your system, a good rule of thumb is to start from the right and go bottom up. It's kind of like reading a book backwards. That's going to help you set up your system all the way through. On the top, there's a handy search field that you can enter in products. You can enter in any customers, uh, any order numbers, etc., for really quick and easy finding them. Then below, you've got your dashboard tabs. These different tabs, dashboard, sales, delivery, stock, and if you've activated the barcode module and added it to your system, your in and out tab. We're going to look at these more later on in different how-to videos, but those are different dashboards that help you really focus on those areas of your company. Below that is your activity section. This section allows you to see any activities that are current and uh, in the short future within your system. You can also switch that to a calendar feature by clicking on the calendar button located here, which will change and view your system in a calendar format. You'll see any of the options, any of the orders pop up into your system. Based on that, if you hover over them, you can manipulate those as well. So that is toggling between the calendar uh, dashboard and the activity dashboard. And in the next uh, few how-to videos, you're going to learn how to customize that calendar as well. Underneath the activity section and the calendar section is the news bulletin section. This is going to show you any communications and any new news postings that you create in your system or your staff create in your system will populate here so that you can see them. Then if we scroll over to the middle, you're going to be able to see any activities for the current day. So when you log in, any activities are going on for that day. So we have none showing for this day inside our system. Below that is the recent activity section. This area shows you any activity that has happened in your system. So if you've created new products, new customers, if you've created any new orders, etc., cetera, uh, any of those activities are gonna be listed in here. And then you've got your list below that you can click the links and follow through. Up in the top right hand corner, we've got our links for upgrading. If you need to add orders to your system, if you get to your order total limit, if you need to add more users, um, if you want to add any modules, that's this is the link that's going to launch that for you. The configuration link is there as well. If you need to change uh, your region that your system is operating in, those different basic core settings of the system are there as well. It shows the current date, and then you've got your fast search link as well as some shortcuts to the system as well. So you can see the keyboard short keys that allow you to activate different things within your system. You've also got your profile link that you can use to set up your own personal profile and then you can log out. These four buttons along the top here, new order, calendar coverage, and week overview are very important buttons within your system. If you want a really fast access to creating a new order in your system, click the new order button. Uh, a calendar button will launch a larger version of the calendar that we showed you on your dashboard. So it gives you an entire screenshot of just the calendar. The coverage button will explain later in another how-to video, but it gives you a snapshot of uh, what products are available in a 15-day time span. And the week overview can give you a really handy tool to seeing what's going on in your business week. Below that is our available products section where you can select your date and time and then select the categories that you want to to search by and then select to list products and we'll explain this as well in another how-to video but this is going to help you to if a client is looking for information on chairs or in this case vehicles or miscellaneous items uh, you can select those categories and view products and check for availability give them a really quick answer and not have to fumble through the entire system and then the last area is the task so once again, later on in the how-to videos, you'll learn how to create tasks for your users when doing project management and project planning. This is where they're going to pop up. You'll also, if you're using our web shop module to allow your clients to book products online using an online gallery and checkout situation uh, system, then the 
online bookings will populate over here as well. And that's it for the dashboard. You also have our support button where you can click and you can do a live chat with one of our agents. If they are available, they will absolutely help you with any of your questions. You can also email us at info at rentaltracks.com. You can give us a call at 888-925-6236. That's 888-925-6236 if you have any questions. Or you can check out the website at www.rentaltracks.com.